Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which are asked in TCS Ninja hiring. Guys, this is part five of this series. Part one to four are already uploaded on my channel. So guys, make sure that after watching this video, you watch those videos as well. Guys, you can find all the TCS related videos for 2022 batch in this playlist on my channel. So it has all the uh, videos related to TCS detail hiring also as well as the TCS Ninja hiring also. I have till now posted ten videos for TCS detail hiring. As well as I have posted the this is the fifth video for TCS Ninja hiring. So watch all these videos so that you can get the information regarding the process as well as the level of the questions we can be asked from you. So guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as you join my Telegram group also. Guys, let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. All the relevant links are given in the description box. Okay, so the question here is take a single line text or lowercase message from the user, separate the vowels from the text. Find the repeating occurrence of the vowel from the text message. Now we have to display three things. Display count of which vowel has repeated how many times, like how many times A has repeated, how many times E has repeated, and similarly how many times U has repeated. Now display a new text message by removing the vowel characters as output. This will be more clear when we will see the input and output structure. Now third is display the output in exact format shown below in the example. After displaying count of characters on the next line. Display the new text message on the next line. Again, the things will be clear when we will see the input and output. Now, if user entered blank or empty text message, display invalid output. Oh, sorry, invalid input as output. Now, message invalid input is case sensitive. Display it in exact format. Okay, so if user has ent entered the empty string, you just have to print invalid input and it should be all capitals and the spelling will be like this only. This is case sensitive. Now, let's see the sample test case for better understanding. So what this question is saying that we are given a string. So we are given a string as input. Now what we have to do, we have to find the occurrence of each vowel. We have to find the occurrence of each vowel in this input string. And we have to display the occurrence of each vowel. Like here you can see that uh, in output section, each vowel has been displayed like A has been uh, A has been occurred zero times, E has been occurred three times, I has been occurred zero, uh, zero times, O has been occurred two times, similarly U has been occurred zero times. So first of all, we have to display the occurrence of each vowel in the separate line. Then we have to display the new string in which no vowel has been occurring. And the uh, and the relative positions of all the characters in this new string must be same. Like if we remove all the vowels, this will be the string that will be printed. So I hope now you got the question and now you got more clarity that what we have to do. We have to print the occurrence of each vowel and then we have to print the remaining string in which no vowel is present and only the characters other than vowels are present and their relative positions are same. So this was the entire question. Now see, let's see the approach. See, these type of questions are very simple when we are using the hash map technique. Now I know that most of you know what a hash map is and most of you also do, do not know that what a hash map is. I won't be using a hash map approach in this particular question. There are two reasons. First of all, most of you do not know the what is hash map and uh, and Second reason is that in C language, most of you code in C language, I know, and in C language, there is no concept of hash map. So it will be really difficult for those students who are uh, coding this particular question in C language as there is no hash map present. So I will be coding a general example. I will be using the general approach for this particular question. So make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know how we will be solving it. Now let's see the approach of this question. Now the approach of the question is very naive and it is very simple. What we'll be doing, we all know that there are total five vowels. We have to take five variables for counting frequency of each vowel separately. Okay, so we know that there are five vowels A, E, I, O, U and we will take five variables. One variable will calculate the frequency of A, then one will calculate the frequency of E, then similarly I, O, U. Now, next is take a blank string to add characters which are not vowel. We have to print a we have to print the remaining string without vowels also. So for that, what we'll do, we will take a new string and in that particular string, we will only add the only add the characters which are not vowel. So I hope the approach is clear to you. Let me just dry run this approach on this particular example so the things will become more clear to you. Now this is hello welcome uh, string that is that has came to us. Now what we'll do? We will simply iterate over this string. What all variables we will take? We will take five variables as discussed above. Every variable will count the frequency of respective vowel. Now we will take a we will take a blank string also which will only store the uh, characters which are not vowel. Now 
while we are iterating uh, while we are iterating it what we'll do we will check whether the current character is a vowel or not so how we check we will simply write if conditions whether it is equivalent to a it is equivalent to e and respectively it is equivalent to u so and if it is equivalent to one of the vowels we will simply increment the count of that particular vowel and if it is not a vowel then we'll simply add this particular character in the blank string so we have encountered h we all know that h is not a vowel so we'll simply increment it so we will simply add this h inside this s now we'll move to the next character e we know that it is a vowel so we will increment the count e by 1 and we will again increment increment this particular pointer now l we all know l is not a l is not a vowel so it will be uh, it will be added in this particular string now next character again next character is also not a vowel so it will be increment uh, it will be added in this particular string again then o then it comes ho o and we know that o is a vowel so we will increment the count of o and similarly we will do for the entire things w is not a vowel o w is not a vowel so it will be added here similarly e is a vowel next is e is a vowel and we will simply uh, we will simply increment the value of e and we will continue this for the entire all characters which are present in this particular uh, which are present in this particular string so now i hope the approach is clear to you the question is clear to you now i will be showing the code for the same Okay, so guys, here is the code for saving the time. I have already written the code. Okay, so the approach I will be using the gen is the general approach that I have discussed in this video. But you can always use the hash map approach if you want to know more about the hash map. You can simply Google it. The answer, uh, the coding part will become much more easier in when we are using hash map. But since the audience is wide and everybody do does not know the concept of hash map, so here is the uh, here is the code for the normal approach. So first of all, we are taking string temp and then we are taking uh, input from the, in that particular input string we are using get line because we have a space inside uh, we have the space in the input okay now we have taken the five variables as i have discussed in the video each for counting the occurrence of the vowel now we have taken a blank string named s that is empty initially now what we'll do we'll simply uh, we will uh, simply traverse over the input string that is of the name temp now if our uh, current character is a then we'll increment count a. If our current character is e, then we'll increment count e. If our current character is u, then we will uh, we will increment count u. And similarly, we will do it for every vowel. Now, if these are the conditions, then we will are incrementing the uh, vowel variables. But if it, it is not the case, that is, if the uh, if the current variable or oh, sorry, the current character is not a vowel, then we are simply uh, we will simply adding that particular character inside the inside a blank string that was s plus is equal to temp of i so after this loop is over we have uh, the occurrence of each vowel plus we have and we have the string in which no vowel is present that is the s string now what we have to do we have to print all the uh, we have to print all the occurrence of vowel in different lines and in the end we have to print the new string in which no vowel is present like we have printed here a e i o u and then we have to mark the colon and then we are printing the occurrences of the same that is count a count e and similarly i o u and in the end we are simply printing the string that has that do not have any vowels now this this code is running perfectly fine but there will be certain test cases it will not pass that is the base case that was given to us in the question what if our string was empty that is what if our input string was empty then what we have to do we simply have to com first compare it if our temp that was our input string is equivalent to the empty string that is the empty string that do not have any character so in this case what we'll do we'll simply print c out invalid input invalid input and it should all be capitalized and it is case sensitive if you will write this entire thing in lowercase it will not run and since we are done here that is if our temp was empty we simply have to print invalid input since we have done everything so we will simply return zero from here so once we are returning zero from here rest of the code will not be reached and only this part of the code will be ran so guys this was the code in c++ but you are free to use any language but try to do not prefer python in tcs ion compiler generally it doesn't work okay so this was it for this video i hope it helped you as well as you like this video thank you for watching it please subscribe my channel definitely join my telegram group all the links are given in the description box